Hello everyone, welcome to today's video and it will be about heparin's mechanism of action of how heparin works as a blood thinner. Uh, this is a diagram which shows how clot formed. So as you can see the, the activated factor 10, activated factor 2 finally uh, uh, leads to conversion of fibrinogen to fibrin which is used for the clot formation so heparin inactivates activator factor 10 and also inactivates activated factor 2 uh, so that there will not more conversion of fibrinogen to fibrin and it prevents further uh, formation of a clot so we will discuss how uh, it inactivates this activator factor 2 and activator factor 10 and prevents further clot formation. So heparin has uh, lots of actions but its anticoagulant effect is uh, as a consequence of binding to antithrombin 3. Antithrombin 3 is an alpha globulin which occurs naturally in the blood and uh, it inactivates activated factor 2 and factor 10 and prevents excessive clot formation so why then does or how does heparin uh, inactivates these factors by interacting with this, this uh, antitrobin 3 so uh, by binding of antithrombin 3 with uh, heparin it increases its uh, action in the absence of heparin the, it is a very slow process that the antithrombin 3 inactivates activated factor 2 and activated factor 10 when it is combined or bind with the heparin its action of uh, increases at least a thousand times a thousand fold so it makes a naturally occurring process very fast so this is a diagram so after binding it will that uh, they will do the same and this is uh, uh, because the uh, heparin uh, with association or binding with the tetrombin 3 is not tight uh, it is a reversible uh, binding so after the, it has done its job it will release the heparin and the, this heparin binds with another antithrombin and also do the same job well, this is another diagram which can compare the two uh, by the way the heparin binds with antithrombin 3 by its specific pentasaccharide sequence whose made of fives pen, as you can see in the green uh, color so the difference between the low molecular weight and the unfractionated or high molecular weight heparin mechanism of action is uh, in case of unfractionated heparin after binding to the antithrombin it will inactivate the factor 10 uh, as well as uh, uh, factor 2 or thrombin but in case of the low molecular weight it specifically uh, binds more to uh, factor 10 so that's the only difference otherwise they do the same job thank you for listening 